folks need something to do after school. They need somewhere to be. RISE was created because there was a lot of shootings that were happening. RISE is basically a place where the youth don't be able to call home. It's not a typical youth center. It's something bigger. We were trying to have everybody be one big family and have fun and just live life. A few years ago, youth at Richmond High decided to look for new opportunities for young people after school. And this happened soon after there were some homicides around the school. In the year 2000, about December, four young folks were tragically killed in Richmond and one of the young folks ends up dying right in front of Richmond High, like on the steps. Because young people were dying, a lot of the community came together and started talking and having conversations about what were the needs that youth needed so that um, this senseless killing would stop. So Youth Together brought up a survey to see what the youth felt and what they needed. 100% of the folks said that youth need a safe place to stay where they can learn about themselves, learn about each other's cultures, and just, you know, somewhere to chill. And one day I was driving around Richmond and came upon a vacant county building that we hadn't used for about a year or two. Supervisor John Joya had a space available and he came up to youth together and was all like, I know this was something that you guys had been working on. Are you guys interested in like leading this process of creating a youth center um, for the county? Most youth centers in their planning don't involve young people from the beginning. I think there's every intention to make this space what young people want, but you really don't know that unless you involve young people in the process. You know, our original thought was, let's just open a center right away. But then we thought about it and realized that if it's going to be successful, there has to be investment by the community, by young people in the future of what this center would look like. Youth leadership and the youth adult partnership, that's the really different thing about RISE is the young folks they actually have a say in what goes on, what, what stays, what goes. The partnership between us is just respect. They respect what we have to say. They respect us as people and not as kids. At this center, young people are actually telling us as adults, here's what we need and we're making it happen. We have about 20 program partners and uh, the list keeps on building because there's so many folks that want to do work in Richmond but you know, never got to because there was never a space for them to work out of Richmond. YMR chose to partner with RISE because RISE chose to partner with YMR. We create music and media that changes the way people see themselves, changes the way they see their communities and the place that they live in. And I think RISE saw that as very valuable. Organizations are doing positive things in the community, positive things for the youth. That's the kind of folks that we want to work with. Our key vision is to keep young people in the center and to see themselves as agents of change and of leadership. The great thing about RISE, it's really been the Youth Council that decides what's going to happen there. They've wanted activities that they know will draw young people into that space. So some of the programs that RISE will have is arts as graffiti or arts as dance. A yoga program, a media program. Academic and career support. A lot of workshops, GED prep, job training, college application prep classes. It's also a center that creates a space for youth to come um, and be connected to a lot of different other resources that are available either within the center or out in our community. With most youth centers, they focus just on like recreational things. And you know, with our, you know at RISE, you know, we want to have fun, but we also want to learn more about you, learn about the problems you're facing, learn about the problems your community is facing, and just you know, really battle it at that. I think what makes RISE special is that it's really built on principles of social justice. It's really built on youth organizing. It's built on community transformation. It's not just a drop-in center. It's a place where young people get services, but they really figure out how can they change their community. RISE has a theory of meeting the kids where they're at. For example, if a student came in with um, you know, drug issues, you know, we don't turn them away because they're still a part of the community. And if we ignore a youth in our community, you know, the problem's not resolved and it's going to still be a problem and it's probably going to permeate through the community. As youth, people want to try things out. They're curious, so we're going to meet them to see what we can do to help them stop if they want to stop. We're not going to tell you what to do, but we can help you make better decisions. With harm reduction, we're meeting folks where they're at. Somebody's coming in with a gun, you know, we want to figure out the reason why they're carrying a gun. If somebody's coming in and they're hopped up on dope, they're drunk, we want to figure out the root cause of that problem. When you learn the root of the problem, you can help address that, and then through that, they can grow. Basically, we're there to help each other, not to fight each other. 
We're all one people and we want to teach that to the community. RISE is about building leaders and helping them grow as individuals into leaders, taking the responsibility and accountability for things that are going on in the community, being good influences to the next generation. I think we're going to learn a lot, we're going to make mistakes, but what's exciting is that we're all doing it together. What we envision is that we're really going to start to shift to see that we can actually have a collective vision around what we want for this community and the communities that we're a part of every day. I learned during this process that it's as important to have the youth feel invested in how we've developed the youth center and for them to be the primary drivers of what happens there. And to do all that with the idea of welcoming diversity and achieving social justice.